And here it is, the Audi R8 V10. In theory, it should offer all of the edgy, sexy lust of an Italian supercar, but not get into an angry strop if you overcook its dinner. It's all thanks to some cross-continental procreation between two very different breeds. The genes at the front are pure Audi, efficient, precise and wise. Like an owl. But the genes at the back are from a raging bull, a V10 engine almost identical to the one Lamborghini bolt into the Guiardo. Owners of the existing R8, the V8 model, are probably watching this item and going, yes! I've got a car that looks the same and it's cost me 23 grand less. <laughs> By and large, I'm a normal guy. I'm not a racing driver. I don't go on track days every weekend. And this is kind of the car that's aimed at me, really. I would say most Audi owners are the sort of people that, point to point, probably want to give it a squirt now and again. They just want a really fast, slick machine. And the R8 ticks that box extremely well. In fact, it double ticks it. Maybe outlines it a bit. I'm not normally a fan of V10 engines. They don't normally sound as good as a V8, in my view. But this one sounds pretty good. That sounds the law. But having the power of the V10 at your feet isn't intimidating. The R8's four-wheel drive Quattro system perfectly grips the car to the road, which would give anyone the confidence to drive quickly, even on these wet, narrow mountain roads. On the inside, things are familiar. Some buttons and knobs might be pinched from cheaper models, but seeing as Audi's interiors are the best in the world, you'd be a mug to complain. Everything has the precise, efficient touch you'd want. It feels expensive. Yet in a funny way, it isn't. You see, the R8 V10 starts at £100,000, yet the Lamborghini Gallardo, which it shares its engine with, is a massive 40 grand more. Suddenly, it seems like a bargain. It's a supercar that you can actually use every day. You can even park it without needing a sixth sense to judge where the back end is. Audi has pulled off what others have spent years striving to achieve. Whichever way you look at it, the R8 is a difficult weapon to fault. Audi's gone and created this beautifully controllable all-wheel drive slingshot that not only inspires confidence by the acre, but it doesn't intimidate. But, and there is a but, for someone like me who isn't a race driver or a regular track attacker, I just don't think I could justify the 20-odd grand extra for the V10 when the V8 version more than whets my appetite and my average driving capabilities. It is gorgeous, though. <laughs>